Now let's go on to some examples. So example one, consider two extreme situations. N equals 10, so sample size of 10, and N equals 1,000, a way bigger sample size, right? If you use, the, if you use S in the formula for CI uh, given uh, sigma, so here's the, here's the actual formula for, um, for when you have sigma, right? Uh, so we use 1.96 because you use the z-score, right? Um, which of these situations would, would you expect to give a capture rate closer to 95%? Here's what this question is really asking. So when you know sigma, for confidence interval, you really need um, x bar plus or minus, oh, so, so this is for 95% confidence interval, uh, 1.96, that, so that's my z, right? times sigma over square root of n, right? But what it's asking you is, what if you substituted in s? What if you substituted in s? So here, we don't know sigma. So here, but we are going to just take this formula and use the c value. s over square root of n. Well, in order to answer this question, you really only need to keep in mind one thing. When is s more like sigma? s is more like sigma when n is very, very large. s is similar to sigma when s is when n, when sample size is large, right? So this situation would give you, even if you plugged in s here, that would give you a very, very close uh, capture rate to 95%, right? These would be very, very similar. However, when n is 10, you have more uncertainty. And because of that, the t distribution, it's not as tight. It's actually more like spread out. And because of that, when n is equal to 10, you don't capture 95% just by being one point, about two standard deviations out this way and this way. That won't capture 95% of, uh, of those samples. In fact, you'd have to go out further to capture 95%. And so this is going to be much closer to 95% capture rate than this. This is going to give you a smaller capture rate. Um, and that's because, uh, that's because your s is going to be more variable. And because of that, um, because of that it, your uh, t distribution is going to be more dispersed. Because more variable means sort of wider, right? Not as like tight.